But whatever, man. We're letting it rock. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so game one. Oh, there's a button check. Yeah, there's a button check. Shouts to the new FD, too. It doesn't blind us. Good color palette. Well designed, Sage. 10 out of 10. Did good, Sakurai. Or whoever designed it. I don't know. But yeah, so um, now that the buttons are all checked, they're going to get the overlay all squared away. But MJ versus Kony, Inkling versus Rob. And if I had to guess, I feel like this matchup would likely be hard for um, Rob just because being able to dash under so much stuff, you know, how does Rob consistently keep Inkling out? Um, that's a good question. But I mean, at the same time, MJ has been being fairly aggressive. And don't forget, Kony didn't play a ton of Smash 4, so he's not particularly familiar with Rob. Um, we were we were actually talking about the matchup because, uh, of course, we've, we've been playing doubles together recently. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, when Rob jumps, just hit him. And he said, no, 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 you don't understand. It doesn't work. And I said, yes, it does. It kind of does. <laughs> when Rob does anything, <laughs> just hit him. And he's doing it now. And he eventually listened. he said, I think I see what you mean. And it worked. He's going for the spike, going deep right there. Um, but once you hit him, it, it, the matchup changes completely. When you're afraid of him, Rob is such a threat. He is a terror. But once you realize you can just out-prioritize him, Rob isn't quite as scary of a man. Yeah, the only button that he has that comes out really fast in neutral, um, I mean, in neutral in the air, would be like his forward air, which doesn't have the biggest hitbox. So, yeah, just hit him. Nice punish on that. Just running up, not hesitating, using that huge first hitbox to sweep him right up into the up smash. One thing that should be fun to watch, so, is how will MJ adjust to the, the ledge traps? I mean, not the ledge traps, the edge guarding of Kony. Because Kony's one of those inklings that goes deep for everything. Ooh, the hitbox. Big brain Kony, ZZ. I didn't even know the hitbox was there. I would've got a hit, too. Yeah, but, you know, Zach, he, Kony goes off stage a lot. And he does it so quick and he's so smooth with it that I wonder if MJ is going to have a, an issue dealing with it or not, since most inklings don't really do that. Yeah, it's something that you definitely have to respect. Oh, almost gets the tech read, but now all that ink on him means all of that damage. Another hit. Oh, yes, that's so much big damage. And now I think like up throw to up air might kill or even overall up smash. He's going to run off the forward air. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going too. for the down air instead. Oh, no tech. A chance for MJ, and he gets the down air. Wrong hitbox, though. Trial number two. Not going to do it. Maintain stage control, and he's just throwing out attacks, trying to make something work, and Kony is not falling for any of it. Running and getting that up smash again. Big brain Kony. Yeah, I love how he doesn't hesitate to commit to um, things that other players might be a bit more hesitant to, uh, you know, actually do. It's that confidence that only comes from being knowledgeable in multiple Smash games. He is just out here. He ledge jumped onto the stage and then DI'd back off before he could even re refresh his jumps. Smooth with him. Oh, grounded. Nice Good match by there. Yeah. MJ trying to get something going. He gets two up airs in a row. Forces an air dodge, but not in a position to get a big punish. But now he is moving off stage. Kony, though, not respecting any of it. Just going up with the forward air and converting in the even more control. He's still going off stage, still trying to make that down air work. He has not been able to convert it quite yet. I'd love to see him just start going for other options, maybe a forward air or a back air. Just tag on the damage if you can't secure the kill. Oh, nice read on that jump. Now Rob has to burn another up B. He's going low and no tech there. Kony doesn't care. He will go off stage, chase you to the depths if he thinks that'll get you off of his level and taking game number one. Yeah, Kony is relentless. He's just like, I'm going to do it. Even if you tech, that's fine. I just want the damage anyway. He probably was expecting a tech. Oh, yeah, he definitely was expecting a tech. He's one of those players who, like, will give credit what credit is due, and, like, raw players are pretty good at teching, so he probably anticipated that, but, hey, no harm in not going for it, like you said. Not sure what it is about this stage, but this is the same counter pick MJ actually chose earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. What was the stage? Oh, okay. Maybe I honestly think it's just the music. Whenever someone selects, like, Jump Up Superstar in this stage, they just like the song. And I can't fault them because it's a good song. Can we start calling it New Jack City? New Jack? Mm hmm Why? Why? <laughs> there was a movie called New Jack City, man. <laughs> you know, Brown that. was in it. Uh, you shouldn't watch it unless you're at least 17 of age. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. A lot of things were sold, and it was in a city. 
I want to just call it New Dawn. <laughs> 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 but now this is looking a little bit hard for Koenig because these Nairs are coming out and he's getting tagged by quite a few of them. And you really have to attribute this to the adjustment that MJ made. You know, he was trying to play the typical Rob game, what you expect, run away, slow and steady, but that didn't work. So now he's bringing the fight to Koenig. He's running it with Nairs, back airs, up airs, everything. And now it's an even game because of it. But just like that, Zach, I mean, Kony making those adjustments as well and bringing the game completely back. Only down by a hair now. Ooh, tried to do him dirty, but still has a reaction there just in case they air dodge. And now, I don't know if Kony jumps, but it might not even matter. Can he still make it back? No, not underneath that onslaught of an edge guard. MJ showing some more signs of life. And look at this early combo. Yeah, Kony is going to have to dig deep. He needs to make something happen. The roller not going to work as MJ is above it. And MJ is just running around pressing buttons, but they're all right. Oh, yeah. It's so much harder to stop pressure in this game unless you get a parry. Until you, like, show your opponent that they have to respect your shield, there's no reason to. Coney alleviating just a bit of the pressure. With 153 on Rob, this is a heavy robot. Yeah. And people were saying they're happy that Rage is removed, but they kind of forgot that without Rage, heavy characters live a lot longer. That is true. And he's definitely living right now. That is a big boy. He is pissed. 160 and smoking. Ooh! Okay. Get off my stage. There's a no roll zone right here. And let me tell you, it's because of that big old back air. MJ showing why he made it this far in bracket. Loser's quarters on the verge of evening it up, but this is Coney's potentially last stock this game, or definitely last stock this game. Let's see what he can make happen. He's going to have to do it very quickly because time is running out as MJ is just tacking on more and more damage. And, you know, I was telling Coney to just hit him, but right now he's definitely struggling to hit these nares. It's because the pacing was completely switched up. Before, MJ was always the second one to swing, but now he's taking initiative and buffering his aerials in ways that Coney can't really react to as easily anymore. Good up air coming in. Oh, that had to have been a misinput. And that's not really something you want to give up. Grounded, good mash. And MJ actually predicting that mash, getting another grab. And boom, just like that, game number two goes to MJ in a dominant fashion. We're on game three now. No one saw this coming from game number one. Oh, no. Except for MJ. <laughs> yeah. That's some confidence right there to, like, kind of get bopped the first game and then do it right back to your opponent in game two. And I wonder if the stage has really played a role. You know, there were so many platforms there that MJ was just really abusing it and playing so well around it. And Kony is actually saying, it's time Ooh. for my K-roll. Uh, yeah, you thought we had big brain Kony. Oh, wrong stage. He wanted regular Smashville. Now, something interesting about Kony is that Obviously, he has a very good K roll if you're not familiar with it. However, he says players that hit a lot of buttons, I like one K roll because he lives to 200%. He has so many options to dissuade you pressing buttons nonstop. Yeah, and that's good advice for anyone out there, really. I kind of wish I had thought of that earlier. I lost to some people who were hitting my buttons. But hey. What are you trying process. to say? I was hitting buttons? No, it wasn't you. <laughs> you said people. There's more than one. Okay. Even in friendlies, I'm saying. Like, sometimes you got to respect the buttons in this game, but K-Roll doesn't have to respect anything. I put him in the hot seat. What's up? Should I put you in the hot seat? I mean, yeah, man. Why you got to do that? I'm just out of here. Sometimes I'm just saying words. Anyway, um, K-Roll. Now, if you're ready for Big Brain Bo Coney before, this is Mensa Coney with this K-Roll. This is a character that should be feared by a lot of people. MJ having no fear right now as he starts that lead up by about 40% right now. Nice, that forward air finding something. MJ, though, not giving K roll anything to work with early on. I thought that counter was going to work. It actually missed. It, it looked like it was timed perfectly, but MJ said no. I think that was his back air. Oh, tries to get the gyro. Nice match by Coney again. And oh, that back air hurts so Big much. Big damage. You know, you are a big robot. Maybe to angling, but K. Roll, you are not. Is he going to make it back? Yes, he does. That's a very hard move to edge guard, but you don't need to edge guard when you can just punish your opponent for getting on stage. Absolutely. Grounded for smash. Another good mash by uh, MJ. These guys really show how important it is to mash when you're buried. Being buried is so powerful in this game. 
Ooh, good parry, but no punish afterwards. I'm just wondering if we're going to see maybe an F-Tilt actually to take out that first stock, armor through an attack, and then end it. Up throw? That shouldn't be enough just yet. Just trying to set up for something. And that, uh, that up tilt, one of the biggest ones in the game. And Ooh. there you go. That's why you pick K roll, using that armor, forcing them to respect it. And if they don't, you die. And that was that F tilt. I was wondering if we were going to see it. And maybe that's part of the game plan. I will get you to the kill range, and I will just F tilt through your button. Yeah, but you have to be very careful when you're playing K roll because uh, his armor only has 28% of you know the hit points. So. If Kony keeps on trying to force the issue, it could be a problem for him, as you see by the cracks in the armor. Yeah. Um, when it happens, it is a show. And if I was MJ, I would actually maybe try to crack the armor on purpose at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it recovers, um, like, over time. So at this point, the window might be gone for a super early shield crack. Or you can just kill him. But that works, too. And he'll come back with a fresh set of armor either way. And you know, Kony is gonna have to make some adjustments right now. Ooh. Because right now, MJ is doing everything he wants and it is all working. Good Nair right now to alleviate a bit of that pressure. Going deep for it, is he gonna make it back? He does for the moment, but for how long did he just? He's back still. I thought he may have just accidentally self-destructed. No, that up is very, very hard to edge guard from the top. You have to kind of hit it from the side because the hitbox above it is, it outranges most things. Oh, Ooh. the sniper? The sniper, he did it to him, hit him from deep, and the fist bumps come out 